Hey guys. So in this video, we're going to be sharing with you the number one biggest mistake that everybody makes and why they struggle with defending. So if you can actually learn to fix this one massive mistake that everybody makes while defending, you'll be able to defend some of the most broken mechanics such as cutbacks and you'll be able to do a lot better defensively and then have a lot more fun playing FIFA 23. So you really need to fix this one mistake that everybody struggles with this year. So as always to show your support on the videos, make sure you drop a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and make sure you click that notification bell so that you know when we release new videos. So we're going to show one really great example here and the, it really illustrates the problems that a lot of people have defensively. Now this was in a draft game against our opponent. You can see obviously we're attacking very, very well, you know, creating space, obviously 2-0 up in the game. And then the ball goes out wide to Frank Ribery. And then as Ribery gets the ball, you can see he's controlling Roberto Carlos. We've got Ronaldo who's in the black square, Roberto Carlos in the red square. So he's in a good position here. He's he's trying to back off and cover the run of Ronaldo. Obviously, Ronaldo, if you play this game, you know, that striker makes that run beyond Carlos. So he's trying to defend sort of that through ball in behind. So obviously, as you can see, Ronaldo is, is running. He's going to sort of back off with Carlos to cover the run of Ronaldo. But you can see now, because he's backing off, we have the advantage. You can see that green square just in front of him. We have the advantage, that attacker advantage, because we've got that space in front. So we can dictate how we want to attack, whether we want to you know, run at him, whether we want to use skills, whether we want to just pass the ball backwards and recycle the ball. We are the ones with the advantage. And this is where a lot of people struggle to defend in these situations because you know you don't know whether to mark the runner or go and press the attacker. And, and sometimes you'll go and press the attacker and then you, you've given up the running behind. And sometimes you'll do what this guy does and you drop off and cover the run. But there's one fundamental thing that he does wrong and forces him in the end, as you'll see, to rage quit. So as you can see, when we roll it on very, very slowly, he's now pushing towards us. And what's really important in that situation is he's now obviously allowed his other defender to get back in position. You can see Ronaldo has now stopped that running behind. So he covered off the run, wasn't able to play the pass. I didn't play the pass because there was a good chance he was going to intercept it with Carlos. His defenders now got back in position and you can see he's marked up with Ronaldo. And then Benzema on the far post is marked up on the penalty spot with the number defender. So he's in a good shape right now. And in this situation, you'd probably be thinking, okay, how does he concede? What's the big mistake that he makes? And it's going to come up in the next clip when we move it forwards. Obviously, everybody's marked up really, really well. And he's closed the distance on us. So now as the attacker, it's the ball's in my court. You know, he's defended that bit very, very well. Now I have to find a way to beat him. Okay, so am I going to pass the ball backwards? Am I going to skill? Now, you can see we were sprinting with Ribery into that attacking space that we highlighted before. We were sprinting with Ribery. And that's caused our opponent to now sprint towards us. So he's holding the right trigger or the R2 button and he's sprinting towards us. But now that we've gotten into the box, we're no longer needing to sprint. Now there's two main reasons why we don't need to sprint anymore. Number one, he's got a lot closer to us. And number two, when you're in the box, you need to have more close control of the ball. So as an attacker, I need to have the opportunity to use the L1 dribbling, the R1 dribbling, the left stick dribbling. I need to have that ball close to my feet. And if I'm sprinting, I'm going to be taking heavy touches. You know, the ball's going to get away from me. So I need to stop sprinting in order to have more control of the ball. So, but with my opponent, he's now holding the sprint button down and that jockey button down at the same time, which engages something called the sprint jockey. And this is where the mistake happens. So as you can see, he's obviously sprinting. You can, And I can see this just through this first clip. He sprints out of the way. He moves out of the way with that defender. And that's what gives me the opportunity because now I know what sort of a defender he is. I know he's an aggressive defender. I know he's the sort of defender who can't let go of that sprint button. And this is where people make the biggest mistake, especially in the box. You cannot hold the sprint button. You cannot engage that sprint jockey. Because when you have top tier players like Ribéry, like your Messi's, like your Neymar's, your Mbappe's, their dribbling is so good that you cannot afford to be holding the sprint button. And this is the mistake that he makes. You can see he obviously sprint jockeyed out the way. And we're going to do something quite important here in this next clip. You can see we've drawn that sort of wiggly line. Now in NFL, that's called a whip route. So what we're going to do is we're going to move back towards our own goal and then very quickly whip around to the byline. 
Now, the reason why this move works is because we now know that he's holding the sprint button. He's sprint jockeying. So he's going to, when we turn to the right, he's going to be sprinting and expect us to go back to try and obviously cover off. As you can see, Ronaldo's got a little bit of space. You can see Saka on the outside of the box has got some space. So he's going to run backwards expecting that. But when we move to the right and then instantly drag that ball back to the left, he sprint jockeyed out of the way and just allows us to get through on goal. So this is the big mistake that everybody makes for these cutback situations. And this is the reason why a lot of people feel like the cutbacks are so broken. And it's not necessarily that they're broken. They are definitely overpowered. And that's because of the way the defensive uh, shape is set up by the AI. But the bigger issue is a lot of people are holding that sprint button and that jockey button and they're sprint jockeying out the way. And it makes just very, very simple moves like this. All I did was just a left stick to the right and a left stick immediately back to the to the byline. And he sprint jockeyed out the way. And as you can see on the slow-mo, he just moved out of the way for us. You know, we moved to the right. He sprint jockeyed. We just moved instantly back to the left. And he basically just walked out the way for us. And then we was able to pass the ball across goal from Ronaldo to Messi. And then obviously get that tap in and that rage quit, as we say. So that is the big mistake that everybody makes. So the big thing that you need to take away from this video, if you want to improve your defending, you need to not use that sprint jockey. You need to, when you get into, you know, you're running back into position, by all means, hold the sprint button. You need to hold the sprint button in order to catch up with that attacker. But when you get into the box, when you get just on the edge of the box, you've got to let go of that sprint button and you've got to just hold that left stick. You've got to play a switch and you've got to do all those things. You cannot afford to sprint jockey in your own box. And that is the biggest reason why a lot of people concede those cutbacks is because they sprint jockey. So if you can afford, uh, you know, if you can fix that mistake that our opponent made, I guarantee your, your, your defending will increase tenfold. And if he would have just not sprint jockeyed, it would have made me attacking in that situation 10 times harder because, you know, I'm not able, that quick little whip route doesn't work because obviously he wouldn't have sprinted out of the way for us to, uh, you know, get through for that easy tap in. So, so the big thing to take away from this video is to make sure that you do not sprint jockey and your defending is going to improve tenfold. So as always, show your support on our videos. Make sure you do drop a thumbs up. Make sure you do subscribe and make sure you click that notifications bell. If you want to ask us any further questions, make sure you join our Discord. The link to that is down in the description. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.